end my video is um two albums i recommend and i really like and i think everyone should listen to is a seat at the table by solange and three by fanogram i was like oh i love this is gonna be my intro edit i love it i love it i heard the song i was like i saw myself like you know, laughing in a slow motion, you know, being real cute, you know, post a little clips of me, you know, smiling, you know, welcome to Fresh Podcast, you know, all that good stuff. But yeah, um, welcome to Fresh And my video is um, two albums I recommend and I really like and I think everyone should listen to is A Seat at the Table by Solange and Three by Fanagram. I love Fanagram. No, I like Solange a lot. I love Solange's album, but I love Fanagram as an artist. I've liked them since um, when I was small, fall in love. Like they're just really cool indie rock, indie electronic band. Um, discovered them in high school and just like stayed, you know, uh, loyal fan of them ever since and they came out with a new album called three it's so good i got through work today i didn't die at my office today because i was just literally listening to the album and it was just so upbeat and it was so cool and i already have my edits i want for my intro because i was like oh i love this it's gonna be my intro edit i love it i love it i heard the song i was like i saw myself like you know, laughing in slow motion, you know, being real cute, you know, post a little clips of me, you know, smiling, you know, welcome to Fresh Podcast, you know, all that good stuff. But yeah, um, welcome to my channel. I might take that clip later, so y'all yeah, see me, you know, doing weird things. It's because I'm filming an intro video later. But yeah, so um, amazing, amazing upbeat album. And songs I'd recommend would have to be um, Small Blues, um, Funeral, Pyrite, and Calling All. Such good songs. Um, and there's another song she has, um, I Don't Love You Anymore, or like just the, the chorus is like, um, I don't love you anymore, you don't make me high anymore. And I'm like, ooh, shade. But such a good, good, and I'll have the songs, my favorite songs, in the description box below. But really fun, upbeat, cool, electronic indie album. Gets you out there, gets your energy up, and they're just so awesome. Like I love my Graham. And they're so like social, like there's like into social justice and they're political, but their music's amazing and they're just growing so much as artists, so I recommend them. The other artist is of course Solange Seat at the Table. Everybody is raving about the her album it's amazing a solange wrote all her songs on her album c she, it took four years to make this album which i respect like i respect songwriters i respect indie writers i respect um just people that really craft their own music now don't get me wrong there are beyonce's and katy perry's and so many other you know the rihanna's of the world that they're awesome performers and there's just people that are awesome songwriters and you put them together and then you have like superstar that's awesome but it's also amazing and credit is due when an artist can be all those wear all those hats and be amazing at it solange is to me um i see the table is just able to craft this amazing colorful dynamic expansive story of and everybody keeps saying you know it details the intricacies of the black woman experience and blackness and blackness and blackness and while that is a big theme um a big theme of it is just growth and vulnerability and it's okay to be a fragile woman it's okay to be a fragile black woman and um, even in this day and age now where you know um, it's two extremes. It's like, you know, a woman has to be wear it all, wear high heels, have a successful career, do all these things, or you can just like have kids and be the family mom, but it's very little in between. Um, and it's just a weird in between space. Like where are, where are we supposed to go as women? And, um, is womanhood only being defined by masculinity? And do we only matter when we, be, when we're leaning into more masculine things? Um, and what is the definition of success and all those different issues but um, Solange album is just really amazing I love listening to it Cranes in the Sky um, amazing amazing album she said she wrote it when she was going through a really difficult time um, a lot of people said that song 
to them, reminding them of like their depression they had or moving through a difficult thing or like being busy instead of dealing with their issues. Just an amazing album. Like I find myself listening to that album in the morning. That song just really gets me going. Um, you know, starts out like, um, I tried to sleep it away. I tried to make myself feel better, you know, like we try to do so many things instead of like dealing with the issue and you know her voice is just so so soft and airy and it just really adds to the song um, another song i like is fubu or f-u-b-u for us by us fubu the 90s all black owned um clothing line that was widely successful and then kind of went down in the 2000s um, she just has a really great song, just about like this song is for us, the song's for black people. But you know, you can stand in solidarity with us. And like, you know, she even has a point in the song where she says, um, Don't be mad if you can sing along, just understand that this is our song for us. This is for us, you know. So she's really cute on her play of words, and um, she's not exclusionary by any means. And I even hate to say this because this is not even, you know, the preface, but you know, um, black solidarity, black pride does not mean you know anti-white you know um look at history and ask if that if it means that okay and come back to me black solidarity black pride does not mean you know anti-white you know um look at history and ask if that if it means that okay and come back